Hello everyone, welcome back. It's TGR, that's Gaming Robbo. Now today we're doing episode 4 of Talk United, trying to raise them to become the, hopefully in my eyes, the best team in the world, but uh, we all know they're not. But hopefully we can get them, obviously getting promoted and obviously trying to get into the Premier League, which is what the original idea was all about. Now, uh, just before we do start the show, guys, just to make sure, if you do like the video, please, please smash a like on the video. And if you're new, also subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. And if you do use any of those social media outlets, please make sure you give them a little follow as well. Now, just before we do start, guys, it was my birthday a few days ago, and a couple of you uh, had messaged me happy birthdays. So I just want to say thank you very much for that. It means the world to me, honestly. It really does. And, of course, I don't know if you see uh, on the news section on the About Me page on the YouTube channel, we are doing a nostalgia day. So one day every week we're going to be doing a nostalgia video, uh, going back on some of the old retro games. Now, we've got it all loaded up on our system, so we're all ready to go with it. So I'm really looking forward to showing you all of the old retro games, which, uh, which I once played going back once upon a time. So hopefully you guys will... Uh, come join and share the experience with me going back on these old games but apart from that guys there will be more updates on that as uh, as we get as we go along but let's start the show of talk united episode four so guys this is the next episode we're having a look at the fixtures that we got for today <clears throat> so we've got barnet scarborough macclesfield and scunthorpe in this episode now obviously Maxfield being in the first round of the FA Cup what we are looking at at the moment is a very tricky situation because obviously we are not performing as well as we should be we're starting to drop uh, in the league as well so we've got a lot of work to do so we're going to go sh straight into the next game and obviously the next game as you can see the next game obviously as I mentioned before obviously we are at home to Barnet. So we're starting the game against Barnet, guys. We've got two new players in the team. Warren Aspinall, we bought him from Bournemouth for £20,000. Hopefully he will fix up the uh, hole that we keep leaving in central midfield. And Steve Cooper, we bought him from York City for £80,000. A little bit more than what I wanted to pay, but they demanded more than what I wanted to pay, of course. So I had to deal with it. So... Here we are, we start in the game against Barnet, and hopefully we can hopefully we can we can get something from this game now and hopefully we're not going to be uh, going in a, the, the losing slump that we seem to be having, obviously from the last few games of course, but uh, at the moment I mean it shows that we've had three shots on goal, which is nowhere near what we should be uh, what we should be doing, of course. And it's 1-0, 1-0 by Tom Ramasat, our attacking midfielder, the youth player that we brought in some time ago. So at the moment, yes, so we're going to keep the same team for the time being. Hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can build upon this. Uh, we're bringing on a substitution now. Bring on Paul Hardy for Brian Healy. Swap those two guys around. But uh, we, we've had a couple of chances in the second half. But uh, obviously we're not executing these chances, which what we should be doing. Peter Beadle has not had a shot on goal so far today. But we're coming into the last five minutes of the game. Can Torquay hold on for this? Victory and hopefully three points puts closer and closer to the playoff zone. Butcher is injured again. I might have to uh, resign to lose Terry Butcher now. But 1-0, we've got the three points in the bag. Cracking victory by us. So looking at the playoffs now, we are literally behind only on goal difference. But we we if we play well again, we could be pushing back up for the promotion places because it's very very tight very very tight i will see who we got in the first round of the english bands trophy bristol rovers uh southwest derby there so the next game guys we're away to scarborough 
So the start of our game against Scarborough, obviously we are away from home. With Terry Butcher injured, we brought in Luke Guthridge, who can play in centre in centre back as well. So hopefully this will uh, hopefully we'll be able to grab another three points from this game today. We should do. We should do at the end of the day because we do have a, a much better we do have much better players within our team, but it all depends on whether or not if we can bag those opportunities and Steve Cooper he's had four shots on goal already and he's getting he's got to get closer and closer to scoring these goals Ramusati does it again seven shots on goal already eight shots on goal sorry already and it's only been half an hour come on boys we need to uh we need to be pushing it still we need to be pushing it still it's coming up to half time and it's still only one nil Steve Cooper is having all these shots and we're not making anything count with him. 10 shots on target out of 13. Ludicrous. We're keeping it the same for the second half. we got to make our chances count. No, Scarborough have equalised. Scarborough has equalised. We are... Oh. Got to bring on a substitute. Jimmy Grant's coming on for Peter Beadle. Paul Hardy's coming on for Brian Hardy, uh, for Brian Healy. Sorry. Change some of these instructions. Start going long. We're not losing, but we need we need to be forcing. We need to be forcing them to make an error and then capitalise on the goal. And Jimmy Grant does it. Jimmy Grant. He puts Talk United back in front. Come on, Talk United. We need to hold out for this victory now. And it's 3-1. Cooper scores. Finally, we get the three points with the 3-1 victory. 24 shots on goal. 19 on target. And Cooper finally gets his first goal for his new club. So with that fantastic victory over Scarborough, we are now a point behind Plymouth Argyle. Two behind Colchester. We are really back in the force. Four promotion places right now. Obviously, we are we're we're starting to look like a much better team. We just need to be taking our chances. We really do. So the next game we are in the FA Cup. We're away to Macclesfield Town, who are in the Conference League. So the FA Cup first round, we are sticking with the same team. Guthrie just keeping his place in centre-back. And Peter Beadle will have another chance partnering Steve Cooper up front. But if Beadle doesn't do what he needs to be doing at the end of the day, then Jimmy Grant may be taking over as the, as the second striker, obviously behind Steve Cooper. But at the moment, I mean, Macclesfield uh, seem to be... Push, pushing against us and Macclesfield are 1-0 up in the FA Cup first round. The team from com the Conference League are beating us who are pushing for promotion again in, the, in Division 3. Jimmy Grant has come on for Peter Beadle. He's done nothing in the first half. So we need to be pushing forward now. Change And it's 1-1 one, one, Tom Ramasat once again. He's equalised for Torquay United. Hopefully now that's the changing point. Now we've got our goal. Hopefully we can bag one more and get our second round of the FA Cup. Oh, come on, Torquay. Come on. We are not... We, we, we drew 1-0 against Macclesfield. That was absolutely abysmal. So we got the first round replay of the FA Cup after Scunthorpe, and that's not good. So the next game, guys, we're away once again to Scunthorpe. Same team playing against Scunthorpe. Terry Butcher is back from injury now, but Guttridge is keeping him away from the starting lineup at the moment. I can't be having someone who's injury prone all the time playing in the uh, squad if because that's going to be wasting a substitution near enough every time he's playing. But nonetheless, Peter Beadle is getting another chance up front. 
He needs to be making an impact. And it's 1-0 to Scunthorpe. 1-0 to Scunthorpe. Torquay United are backpedalling once again. We're not having the chances. I mean, it's 2-0 to Scunthorpe now. 2-0 to Scunthorpe. And Torquay United are really rocking now. So we will be making some changes in the second half. We cut the second half. Can't the fight, the halftime whistle can't come any quicker for us at the moment. So Paul Hardy is coming on for Brian Healy. Jimmy Grant is coming on for Peter Beadle. And we're going to be doing a long passing. We're going to try something different here. We're going to try normal mentality with going via a counter attack. Because obviously Scunthorpe are keeping it. And it's Cooper 2-1. With Scunthorpe keeping all this possession at the moment. We need to try a different tactic here. So hopefully the counter attack in play will help us. And it's 25 minutes to go. Torquay needs to equalise here. It's 20 minutes, 10 minutes left. Come on Torquay United. We need an equalise. We need to equalise here. And we've lost 2-1 against Scunthorpe. Not, not, a, not, a good, not a good game by us. That, vic that victory for Scunthorpe pushes at us at the back end of the playoff places. But we're still in it. We're still in the fight for it. It's still early days. But hopefully we can... Hopefully we can bounce back from this. But our next game, guys, is the FA Cup first round replay against Macclesfield Town. FA Cup first round replay. We are at home to Macclesfield Town. Terry Butcher has come back into the starting lineup. I'm just praying and hoping that it doesn't bite me in the arse. And it's 1-0 by Cooper. 1-0 for Torquay United. It's 2-0. Cooper does it again. Cooper scores his second goal. In this game. Now Torquay United has slowed the pace down. It looks like slightly. We are 2-0 up. But we need to be pushing for more. We need more goals in this game. And at this moment in time. It's, uh, it looks like we will be keeping it as 2-0 up until half time. So we're getting all the. We are getting the chances. We are getting all of our shots on target but we need to be capitalizing on that so they're keeping it the same for the second half not changing a thing that we've done for this game so far and Ramasato thought he was going to get another goal for himself there so they're going to bring on a substitution now Macclesfield has brought one back Macclesfield Town has brought a goal back Paul Hardy's coming on for Brian Healy Now it's, now it's starting to get a little bit tense at the moment. Just hoping that we can keep this and have our second round FA Cup match against Chesterfield. But we need to finish the job in this game first. And Macclesfield 2-2. Two, two. They've equalised in the last 10 minutes of the game. I'm I'm stunned by it. I'm I really really am stunned. Wayne Thomas is coming on for Terry Butcher, Ramasat, and Grant are coming on as attacking midfielders. Hopefully playing the ball through to Cooper to bag himself his hat trick. But at this moment in time, it looks like we're going to penalties. Oh, God. Right, so Ramsat will be taking the first penalty. Cooper will take the second. Wayne Thomas, the third. Jimmy Grant, fourth. And Warren Aspinall, the fifth penalty. 1-0. It's 1-1. Maxfield scored the second. So is Cooper. And Maxfield scored the third. Thomas, come on. Come on, Macclesfield. Miss a penalty. No, Grant. No. We're out of the FA Cup. We're out of the FA Cup. I cannot believe that we've ballsed that up. 
We're going to play our last game against Colchester, guys. We are at home next. Our last game of this episode, guys. We are obviously at home against Colchester. We've uh, brought James Ross in for the starting lineup over Terry Butcher. Colchester, obviously, they are second in the league at the moment. So we need to be showing that we are no pushovers. We need to be showing that we can uh, stand up against the big boys of the division. So we pray and hope. And Peter Beadle finally scores his first goal in this episode. After I was I was contemplating playing Jimmy Grant instead of him. But uh, well done to Peter Beadle. And he scores again. Peter Beadle. Come on, boy. So Stain is 2-0 up until half time, it looks like. But we cannot take that lightly because, well, we saw we saw what happened in the uh, in the first game, in the last game, sorry, against Macclesfield. So we are going to be not pressing as much. Try and keep our shape together for the second half. Oh, I thought Aspinall was going to score his first goal for the club then. And it's 3-0. 3-0. Jamie Victory, our captain, scores his first goal for us. And it's, it's time to bring on some substitutions to try and waste the time here against them. Jimmy Grant will come on for Steve Cooper to give him a little rest. And Wayne Thomas will come on for Simon Coleman to give him a little rest as well. But this is a fantastic victory by us. What a way to end this episode against Colchester here. Colchester has brought a goal back, but it's too late. It's all over. We've got the three points by beating Colchester 3-1. So looking at the table now, we've knocked Colchester to the near the bottom of the playoff places. But you look at the playoff places, I mean, Rochdale, I mean, as far as Gillingham, can get into the playoff places at the moment. Obviously, us down to Carlisle, any one of us can get into the automatic promotion play or automatic promotion places. So it is so so tight in this league at the moment. It's fantastic. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please make sure you smash a like on the video. And if you are new, subscribe to our channel and as well as hitting that notification bell as well. Of course, guys, make sure you do look at the other videos that we have on our channel because we are the only championship manager or football management gaming channel where we would have all the comprehensive hints and tips videos at your leisure. Well, guys, look forward to seeing each and every one of you at the next video here at TGR. That's Gaming Robbo.